So, today's YouTube video is going to be about messing up on the he pronoun when you're trans. In my opinion, if I have blatantly stated, or even if other people have pulled you aside to tell you that I am trans and identify as male, then that is what I identify as. Key word is identify here, because I know that I'm not naturally born a male. I know more than anyone else in the world what kind of parts I have, and as confused as transgendered minds may be, at least we know this. We bind because we know that we are uncomfortable with our chests. This is because it feels unnatural even though it is natural. This feeling is not something any of us can control, and if I could control it, uh, damn right I'd pick a gender in a heartbeat and live by that fully, whichever it may be. So, being transgendered is actually really unfortunate. Um, it makes dating hard, it makes social interactions more difficult, and it sets more walls and boundaries in between you and the person that you're interested in, especially depending on what gender they're attracted to, because like we're kind of stuck in the middle. And I'm not, I'm not even speaking for everybody in the world that is trans. This could be mostly for like me, but this could also apply to you. So there are times when our features and our movements, voices, and swag, if you will, will resemble a male so much that it will either confuse a straight girl or confuse a lesbian into thinking that you are just a really attractive lesbian. But there is so much more behind the trans door. With that being said, we're uncomfortable. For those of us that wish to change our names to the name we believe to be our real name but have not legally changed it yet, it's unfortunate to hear this name. It's uncomfortable to hear this name because it is embarrassing. It's a threat to the bit it's a threat to the bit of masculinity we do have because of the fact that the name you are being called in front of a friend, in front of the DMV audience, in the middle of the grocery store is a female name for girls. Now, personally, when I'm in public and I'm walking around, I want people to see me and automatically assume that I'm a guy. I want to look as manly as possible talk as manly as possible, and I don't want someone to uncover me, for lack of better words. Does anybody else out there feel like this? Like, I'm reaching out to YouTube wondering, does anybody else, like, have these thoughts on their mind when they're out in public, and things like that happen? I kind of want to get some feedback on that. So, if you know that I'm trans, and you keep messing up on my pronoun, you're either much older, not in this generation, or just an asshole. I don't push it, though. I mean, if you keep messing it up, calling me she and other female pronouns because you simply just don't understand, I'm not going to correct you because that would make me the asshole. Or that's how I feel. But where I'm getting at is, what is there to not understand? Like, help me out here. Um, whether you're female or you're male or somewhere in the middle, whatever you identify as should be your identity and yours alone. Individuality should be recognized. You're old, you're an asshole, you just keep slipping up, but you need to start believing before you can solve. Like, you need to open your heart up, you know, like that sounds really cheesy, but seriously. Open your heart up, mind, soul, whatever it is, accept it first before you can change, I guess. Like... I mean, if this has become a problem with you between you and somebody that you know was trans and you feel like a dick, it'd probably be a good time to change. And if you don't change, just use their name. Just replace the name that they would usually use in place of every he or she pronoun. Would be a lot better way to go to keep from this embarrassing embarrassment happening. So, until then, use my name, which is Kaden. Um, put it in place of every female pronoun you would use because when everyone in the room is referring to me as a he except you, it leaves for a very embarrassed Kaden. It's awkward and it's weird. I mean, I have a female voice. I'm aware of this. And even a mostly female-like body type, I've also noticed that I have really masculine shoulders and I have kind of a masculine-ish build, but I have very pretty female features. And I'm aware of this more than anybody is aware of this. So people tell me like I don't know. So that's enough female for me. I have enough female to go on for days. So if you care or if you at least want to try, open it up, guys. Like, accept it. Learn about it. Learning about it is a really good way to come to realization that people identify as other genders than what they are. 
Um, do whatever you need to do to feel more comfortable about it. Break free of the old days, old views, old views, old ways. And if not, just use my name. So, that's my, like, it's not really like a rant. It's really just like a, come on, like, everybody come together and, like, learn about it. And, you know, be a little bit more free with it. Because I think it would help a lot of us out. Alright, thanks guys.